part 52 training meaning concept and importance training and development is one of the main functions of the human resource management department training refers to a systematic setup where employees are instructed and taught matters of technical knowledge related to their jobs it focuses on teaching employees how to use particular machines or how to do specific tasks to increase efficiency whereas development refers to the overall holistic and educational growth and maturity of people in managerial positions the process of development is in relation to insights attitudes adaptability leadership and human relations training and development programs are designed according to the requirements of the organization the type and skills of employees being trained the end goals of training and the job profile of the employees different training is given to employees at different levels the following training methods are used for the training of skilled workers and operators specific job training programs technical training at a training with live demos internship training training by the process of rotation of job training is given to people in a supervisory or managerial capacity is lectures group discussions case studies role playing conferences etc people in managerial programs are given this type of training management games to develop decision making programs to identify potential executives sensitivity training to understand and influence employees behavior stimulation and role playing programs for improving communication human relations and managerial skills training however efficient the required personnel might be without experience and expertise proper functioning of the organization is possible training is the process of imparting theoretical and practical knowledge with the objective of acquiring proficiency in work training is not temporary but a continuous process to increase knowledge ability and proficiency of employees the organization arranges training programs in simple words training means imparting providing education regarding about their various functions it is a continuous process it will provide both the theoretical and practical knowledge with the objective of acquiring proficiency in work it will increase knowledge ability and proficiency of employees the organization arranges training programs for the employees with the intention of various developmental programs developing skills and the proficiency of the employees the concept of training in general terms training means providing theoretical and practical knowledge with a reference to the work of the employees as stated by an expert training means giving up to date information about the organization and also to increase efficiency skill aptitude attitude and technical skills of the employees in short training means imparting knowledge and education with the objective of gaining proficiency in the business in simple words training means providing theoretical and practical knowledge with a reference to the work of the employees the sport said about this training means giving up to date information about the organization and also to increase efficiency skill aptitude attitude and technical skill of the employee importance of training training is important because it represents a good opportunity for employees to 
grow their knowledge base and improve their job skills to become more effective in the workplace despite the cost of training for employees is the return on investment is immense if it is consistent there are several reasons it is important for employers to initiate training programs for their employees such as first one modern information training is necessary for appraising the employees about modern technological changes and research in the industrial world new research technical knowledge is expanding its wide variety expanding its possibilities to keep track with the same it is necessary to provide training to the employees second one safety those workers who are handling machines are given information regarding operation of machinery so that accidents can be reduced this nurtures aptitude for work in the employees and also leads to less fatigue and high morale especially employees working with machines can be saved from accident by providing proper training and information about the functioning of the various machines they may work with enthusiasm without experiencing fatigue or tiredness so providing safety instructions and training about the functioning of machine they can solve these issues and third one increase in job satisfaction training improves understanding of the workers and when they are given the job for which they have been trained it increases their enthusiasm which increases their job satisfaction employees of organization who go through training programs will feel like they are a part of a supportive work environment where they are appreciated which will boost their morale and make them approach their job duties with more self confidence and satisfaction once training is provided to the employees they are allocated the work for which they have been provided with the training hence they were work with more enthusiasm and high morale then they feel job satisfaction and self confidence in their functions and fourth one reduction in rate of labor turnover training increases knowledge skill and efficiency of the workers which in turn increases or improves their chances of promotion and income since it makes them more efficient they do not think of changing their job which in turn decreases the rate of labor turnover through training employees knowledge skill and aptitude and proficiency going to increase they are prepared for a promotion the industry also the organization also going to keep these well trained employees with them and providing good salary and a good consideration to them and they also feeling secure in that organization they will will not think about going away from this going out of this organization and the trained employees become more efficient he obtain more economical advantages because of a financial gain employees thinks little for change of job as a result employees labor turnover rate decreases and a continuous and a good employees will get through the training programs and it will reduce the labor turnover rate of that organization and fifth one increase in profit training increases production and productivity thereby reducing cost of production and increasing profit with the knowledge theoretical as well as practical knowledge they are going to increase the productivity of the organization so this productivity will increase the profitability of the organization and through training production and productivity both can be increased as a result cost of production goes down because of that a profit of the organization increases reduction in expenses 
training increases efficiency of the workers which increases production and decreases wastage of raw material so provision cost also reduces the total expenditure is reduced training increases the production and productivity of the various employees in that organization it will reduce the time wastage and raw material wastage and other wastage of different factors and it will increase the productivity and a reduction in cost of production it will reduce the expenses of that organization it will reduce the production cost of organization and increase the profitability and also reduce the supervision charges and functions and the total expenditure is reduced raw material waste decreases supervision expenses also decreases as a result total expense reduces seventh one growth and development of employees training result in the increase in skill knowledge ability and the intelligence of the employees this also result in personal growth and development of the employees because of training programs employees knowledge ability proficiency and the various skills going to increase they are very familiar with the working and their functions so it is result into their personal development also they are we are going to very specialize in their work it will increase their skills also other benefits of training training improves quality of production it enhances prestige of the organization and reduce stress an environment of cooperation is created and loyalty sincerity and enthusiasm of employees is increased through the training employees are become very expert in their work so it increases the quality of the production and a good quality of product will increase the prestige of the organization and it will increase the good name of the organization and market and other related trusts going to reduce an environment of cooperation and coordination among the various workers is going to create loyalty sincerity and enthusiasm of the workers is going to increase the cooperative environment develops within the organization employees honesty dedication and loyalty also going to increase a separate training department has to be maintained for training and special officers have to be appointed by the big enterprises to provide training to new employees in most of the big organization have a special branch or wing of officers is there to provide various type of training and developmental programs to the employees and especially they will provide training to the new employees and make them very familiar with their functions and working conditions raw material may get wasted and stipends has to be paid to the trainees as a trainee or apparently time most of the company or organization not going to give a proper salary to the trainee in that time organization felt some wastage of resources and will give some stipend or some of the financial assistance to the trainee this training is expensive wastage of raw materials and some financial assistance towards the trainee is there that's why training is expensive but its benefit outweigh the expenses incurred training is a expensive program but this trained employees are the asset for the organization and they will increase the productivity of the organization and increase the prestige of the organization so training is expensive but its, its absence is more expensive and training is considered as the one type of investment in organization training is expensive process but absence of training it will become more damages to the various resources of the organization and it will affect the productivity it will create more and more wastage of various raw materials so without this training 
it will create a more expense for the organization so we can say training is expensive but its absence is more expensive for the organization so the amount spent on training should not be considered as an expense but an investment in business in future it will reduce the damage of machines and reduce the wastage of raw materials and it will increase the productivity and this increased productivity will enhances the profitability of the organization and prestige of the organization